All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So today what I want to show you is how I been aligning my putts. And I tell you what, it's been working like a charm. So stay tuned. Okay, so a lot of you guys probably already do this, but uh, you know that a lot of balls have the, the marks already here. So this is something that I uh, did before and I never did it again. So now I went back to, to doing it recently and I'm gonna show you how, why I think this works. First of all, I wanna thank uh, one of my golf buddies who is a pro, uh, he's uh, from New Zealand and, and he actually plays in the Alps too. He's the one who gave me this idea, so, so make sure to check him out. Obviously, it's quite simple. See the break first. You align your, uh, your ball to the hole and then simply uh, put it on the ground, align it, and then you execute it. Initially, I thought like, okay, well, you know, I, I did this in the past, uh, I might try it again, but then I thought about it. Now, what you're doing is you're breaking down the, uh, the process in two steps. Uh, one is just the planning phase. Uh, so you take your time to plan, and then the second step is just to execute. So it's two steps, two completely different steps. And the way I'm doing it right now, I'm kind of combining everything. So in a way, it's kind of like, a, like if I'm building a house, I'm just going along with uh, what I see changing and, you know, uh, and I don't think it works that way. You know, in real life, it works where you have a plan and then you execute the plan. So let's uh, make an example with this hole. So I'm going to, I'm going to align my, my ball to the hole first. I'm going to determine whether it's left to right or right to left. So I determine that it's right to left break. So the next step is to determine how far. So for me, it's going to be just the left, the left side of the cup. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to align the ball and I'm going to undo it like this and then just set it on the ground. And then from the ground, I'm going to align it. You can make some changes there. And obviously you have to have your marker. The next step for me is to go back over here and look at the line and make some changes. In this case, I see that it should be a little bit more this way. So I go back over here, obviously marking your ball. Don't get in trouble for that. Just slightly to the left in this case. I go back and then I see that that's the line for me. So once I'm done with the planning process, now I completely forget about it. That's it, that's my line right there. That's where I spend my minute or two, well, probably a minute. And that's it, I'm not gonna go back and think, oh, okay, you know, maybe I should change. That's it, you should forget about it. The next step is the last step, which is just to execute it. So all I gotta do is just step to the ball, you know, and commit to the line and make sure you put it straight, obviously. So this is assuming that you have a straight uh, uh, stroke, you know, not, obviously it's gonna arc too much, it's gonna, you still can pull and uh, push it, so, but I think it gives you um, time to just focus on one thing. So obviously you're not gonna make the putt every time. It's not gonna work that way. I tried it in my round and I tell you what, I, I was putting really, really well. Just aligning my putt and obviously I didn't make every single putt. Uh, I would say the, the ones from 10 feet, five feet, definitely those were much easier to make. Whereas the ones that were a little farther out, obviously uh, they were a little more complicated. But all I'm saying is, is you have a plan. I mean, uh, you're breaking down the process in two steps and that's gonna help you a lot. You know, you're not, having to think of everything at once, planning and execution at the same time. I think that's, that's the problem. And, you know, it's just my opinion, but I think, you know, I wanted to share this with you because I think um, for me, it's gonna be, it's, it's been helping me and it's gonna, I think, change my, the way I'm putting and it's gonna make it much easier. I think it's gonna be particularly easier if you have a putter like this right here, because all you have to do is just align this with this and that's it. So when it's time to putt, uh, uh, during the execution phase, that's all you have to focus, the pace, how much pace. So no longer will you think about, should I get a little bit more this, more like this? Because I think for me, that's what um, it kind of led to a lot of mistakes. You know, if I'm having to think of how, how much pace to give and where the line, you know, you kind of like switching in your brain, you're thinking of two things and that's gonna lead into mistakes in my opinion. Uh, again, I want to give a shout out to my friend who is a golfing pro. He plays in the App Store and the way he shared this tip in his YouTube channel, so make sure to check him out. Uh, he said he noticed that when he was playing with amateurs and he saw that many amateurs uh, did not align their putts this way with the, with the line. 
And if you see a lot of pros, they're always doing this. You know, when you see even in tournaments, they're always, I'm, I'm not sure if everybody does it, but a lot of pros go ahead and align their, their putts, looking down, changing, right before they're putting, they're, right before they move their marker, they're always doing this. So uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, breaking down the process in two steps is going to help you. If you haven't tried it, make sure you give it a try. I think it takes time though, because uh, it's not something that you will uh, learn right away. I think give it a few days in trying it, because anything that you try for the first time, is not gonna, you're not gonna see the results right away. Uh, for me, I think it's taking me a couple of days. The main problem with me is um, having to align, how to align it, whether to align it like this, because it's quite difficult. It seems like it's simple, but it's not, definitely not. So whether you need to align it like looking down like this and then in the ground or you just go on the ground and align it like this so i think it's kind of hard so the way uh like i just showed you before the way i've been doing it i've been uh, aligning it like this putting it down then looking over here picking a point then on the hole align it and then i go back over there and look it up from there and then make uh the last adjustments and then that's it after that uh, it's better to clear your head after that just trust the line right there so you go in there and then when you're executing the salt you have to focus on hitting a straight pot that's it no more planning from here okay one thing that I've been noticing when you're in the execution phase you have to commit so give it past the hole don't stay short because you have to give it a chance so I'm no longer planning I just have to make sure I get it enough not the greens a little overgrown but that's okay just gotta give it enough commit to that line And that's it. So maybe it was a little bit too more to the left. Maybe not. Uh, obviously, the greens. This one is a little overgrown, but I'm happy with that. You know, I'm, I trust my process. I um, I committed to my shot. I gave it a chance. It had a chance there. You know, if you leave it here or here, you will never know if you give it a chance. You know, and obviously, you don't want to do it over pass it too much either. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely tr give it a try if you if you don't align your ball uh, this way. Uh, like I said. Most balls have a, a line now, and so it makes it really easy. And for me, it definitely is definitely helping me. Uh, just to put it in perspective, I started my round last week, and the first few holes I just did like I always did without aligning, and I three putted it the first one. The second one I, I, I two putted, it, but the second the first one I three putted, it. and then after that, I kind of started. Uh, remember the video that I saw, and I started aligning my putts ever since and then I, I started putting really well so I don't know if it's just coincidence or if it's just by chance that it happened but um, I will definitely keep doing it and I've been practicing in my backyard now just aligning my pots taking my time and obviously I think um, the main thing is like commit to that line so once you are finished with the planning process just commit to it don't don't overthink it don't you know it's not gonna you're not gonna make it every time but at least you know you already put time and effort on the planning phase so don't go back there and because you know you're ready to execute don't make those last minute changes I don't think they work you know it's already you already spend your 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 minute in planning so don't bypass that just because you have a last minute thought and if you have that then just regroup again and then plan again so in my opinion you should commit to that line because a lot of times you uh you don't commit to it and that's when the problem arises hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching until next time